Uh, these came a day early, which is great. I like it when it's early. Okay. All right. Beauty. Uh, nice and positive. Okay. So this is the Music Lily Pro version of the Cluzon style tuner in the locking style. Now I ordered these because this one of the originals on the guitar is a tiny bit sloppy. Okay, I mean tiny. It's also a little bit sloppy because I think the post is loose. And I have no means to be able to fix that without trying to get these little tabs out of there, which basically is impossible. Well, it's not impossible. You get them out, but they break. So the Gibson Deluxe uh, that they say on there is, is almost right. The Gibson Deluxe is actually square, like this. And it says Gibson Deluxe on them. So there's another difference, right? Look at tulips, green, cream. So they put green ones on the guitar, um, and all the front of it is cream with cream binding. I'm thinking, well, wait a minute now. If I'm going to buy some new ones. I might as well go with the cream ones, right? And make it all, all right. Same scheme. Okay, so now um, I'm going to do the same thing as I did with these. I already lubricated those. Um, I had another set here which I thought was going to be the right ones, but they turned out to be six in line. And uh, that didn't work. So I'm going to keep those. Uh, you never know when I might get another guitar that has a couple of bad ones. And I could swap them out. Or there's a lot of bad ones on one, but a good one that I could make a good set out of this one because this one's a little bit floppy. <clears throat> you never know. You just never know. It could become useful. So I'm just going to undo all of these locking pins. Another Music Lily pick. Um, these were the ones I could get in a short period of time here. And the uh, least expensive at 50 bucks, including taxes in. I could have got some Geikers, but they would have came out of the States. They were going to be $52 plus taxes and plus import duties. And I'm thinking, too much, because I've used some of these Music Lily Pros before on some other ones, uh, on another guitar, and they, twice, and they were quite, quite good. Okay, so there's no loose posts on the cream ones. And they call these the Pro. DTA, DTA, DTC, DTA, DTB. I got one B, two C's, and three A's. I'm not sure why. Because those are all one side and these are all one side. Okay. And there's the synthetic to grease. Which we know we can use two ways. I can I can inject in here right over the cam, the worm gear. And then I can also put a little bit down here on the side. before I take my spinner and spin them up to get oh, get that all over the place. Uh, the pressure in here. Eh? Inside the gear and inside there. Made a little bit of a mess on that one. In there. Some in there.
So I think these are going to look way nicer on the guitar and will be more functional. All right, pull that back a little bit, clean it off. Okay, so this is the, the other part, clean off the top. Give her a good spin so that the, the gear goes all the way around at least once or twice. That'll spread the lubrication across all the cog. These are 15 to 1 by the way. Now you see one of the things that makes them also a little bit better is that these have plastic bushings in the bottom and the top. Uh, can we see it? Yeah, right in there. You can see the plastic bushings. And these have metal anchors bushings down here. So that stops the the posts from moving around too much. The plastic ones I noticed always are a little bit loosey goosey. And uh, this greasing method makes them so smooth to tune afterwards. I mean, there's probably some lubrication in there, but I've noticed that when the ones that I could actually see inside, um, I found that many of them didn't have a lot of lubrication in them, which is why I got this idea to add some synthetic silicone grease and you can feel it I mean they start off pretty tight and then as soon as the grease gets all around the gear oh it smooths right up and the, the pressure that it takes to to spin that is not as much yeah it starts off tight and you know you could even add a second dose if you wanted to but, you know, for the amount of time that these gears would, will be turned, and it's synthetic, um, it's probably never going to break down in my lifetime, some of your lifetimes. There. That's a spinneroo. Just make sure we got nothing left on the outside and now we can repin them now we don't have to spin them up all the way because the strings have to go through anyway that's sticky on the bottom no. Yeah, they, they have lubrication, but it's all on the outside. <laughs> There's some oil on the outside of the case. And you don't want that on there because when you start doing this and you start stretching your strings, guess where all that lubrication is going to go? Contamination of your strings. So make sure that uh, all your parts are clean before you get to the string part. There. Now all we need to do is uh, remount all of that and uh, put those into storage. Oh, that one's really loose. I found that they were all loose a bit. Some of them more loose. Oh, this one's really taut. Yeah, so this is the best one of the bunch. It's like it doesn't move at all. And that one I, I put some grease in there and it's it's smooth. 
So that's the, the best one. I'm going to put a mark on that or something. And then, you know, if I ever have to pick and choose, we'll find out in the future. Alrighty, i got to wash my hands. And I'm going to, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to go over these again. There's a little bit of stickiness on the on these uh, posts. Uh, knobs. The tuners, the tulips, the tuners. And that's where your hand's going to be most of the time. All right, I have to go wash up, retrieve the guitar from bench two, and we'll be back. This is it, the moment. All righty. Ah, uh, they are installed. And that looks way nicer, I think. Look at the shine on that headstock. It came out really nice with that Meguiar's 2X scratch stuff, including the back of the neck. There was small bruise down here in the, in the clear coating and it took it completely away. Ah, the back of the body, just all the swirls completely gone. Absolutely phenomenal. And the front too. So, my 58 copy reissue is getting closer. I'm missing the bridge, which should come mm, in a day or two, including the new knobs for there. And then we will be ready to restring this and uh, move on to the next part.